Welcome back to Newsmakers. I'm Jess Toddfeld. Our guest today, Betty James Logren. She is an author, speaker, national health coach. The new book, I Want What She's Got, Secrets of Creating an Outrageous Life at Any Age and Stage. Welcome, by the way. Thank you so much. Great to be here. So I love the title. I love where you're going with this. What makes your life outrageous? Probably the biggest reason is about 10 years ago, I thought I was dying. Yes. And I was perfectly healthy. And I just didn't realize it because I had heard that people who got to be my age usually died about the age their parents did. And I was coming right up on that age. Didn't realize I had believed a lie. And why did you think you were dying? Just because my parents had died at age 68 and oh, really? 74. I was. Oh, so you it, just thought, I've hit this age, it, nobody had diagnosed you with anything. No, no, no. You said, I'm, I guess that's it, I'm done. That's it. That was totally it. Where was the change? What happened? The thing that happened was, after I had lived many years, like five or six years in this mental space, yeah. I went to a seminar and someone asked me, what is your purpose? Mm. And I said, who? My purpose is to die. That's I didn't say that out loud, but yes. that's really where I was living in my life. And I realized I'd lost my purpose. Right. And so as I began considering what my life was, I had to re-examine where I wanted to go with my life. Right. I chose at the end of that seminar to live until I died. Yeah. Big choice. How often do you think we ask ourselves what our purpose is? Did I you? think we take it for granted because yeah. most of our life, our life is on autopilot. Yeah. When and autopilot, meaning wife, mother, yeah. uh, whatever your career was, that, that you're on autopilot. Exactly. You say, I guess that's my purpose. Exactly. Right. So when you get to be in your 40s, sometimes divorce or different things happen that, yeah. that cause you to have to rethink what do you want the rest of your life to look like? But mostly, we're just kind of comfortable and waiting for retirement and you know we we kind of have an idea yeah. how this is all going to play out but at some point you've got to face what what am i here for yeah. what's this all about you were faced with a big question how long did it take for you to figure out what your true purpose was and is well i'm i'm still in some ways figuring that out but i think the biggest thing i realized at the end of this conference was contribution is what i'm about yes and so what does that mean? How yes. can I make choices that are contributing? And um, I want to be an effect, a, a world changer. Yes. And I've discovered that by developing leaders who want to change the world, I change the world exponentially. Wow. So I'm working with a lot of leaders and uh, I'm excited about their results as well as my own. Right. And, and and I know your story, I know that contribution, even though you, you don't want to be completely defined in one way, meaning that you're continuing to rewrite your own story. Absolutely. But tell us and tell some of the viewers who are watching right now how you have contributed since realizing, wait, this is why I'm here. Well, one of the ways is, of course, in my book. But I just realized that we often choose to die full. We don't know what's inside of us. Mm. It's all kind of hidden in there. And so when we begin to explore, maybe I have a book. I didn't know five years ago I had a book to write. Uh, who knew? Who knew? That was also in you. Right. And could be a song, could be a poem. It could be leadership that I was designed to lead others. Yeah. And then I didn't show up. So and, yeah. what, what happens to the people who are waiting for me to appear on the scene? and they didn't have a leader. Right. And tell us some of the ways you've been able to contribute and help others now that you've been on this path. Well, one way is in my business, I have become uh, very successful. Yeah. Last year, I was a number 10 producer in my company, uh -huh. and that was very exciting. What so What type of work, if it's OK to ask? I'm in a nutritional cleansing business. Yes. Oh, very nice. So, it's freed me up to be able to give away the talks that I do and uh, to make a lot of contribution. I have extra time. 
right. but mainly I have had plenty of money to give away. That's right. a wonderful thing to have. People right. say they want to help, but they but they think we should be poor. I don't think so. And it sounds like you're you, in what you do in your life. You're working on people's mind and body. Oh, uh, body first, and help them change their mind. Right. So it's not just the nutritional part. Now you're adding in this whole part of mind and finding purpose. Tell me a last little bit on why it's important for everybody watching right now to figure out and ask themselves the question, what is my purpose? I think because we don't realize we have choices. Since we've been on autopilot most of our lives, we don't realize that we can change our path at any point. And the choices we make take us from being victims yeah. of our future or designers of our future. Mm. And well, I want to design every minute that I live, and I want to encourage others to know you can change your life by changing your mind. Wow. How can people find you or find out more? I know that obviously the, the book is out there. How can they find you? Um, my website is called The People Builders. You the People Builders. The, <laughs> the, the People Builders yes. dot com. Oh, you're building people from That's it. a brand new foundation up. Right. And we work with churches, we work with non-church groups, um, talking about health and telling my story. Right. Trying to help people realize that even if they're 16 years old and they, they, don't, they think there's no reason to live, it could be wow. that they've opted out for suicide or for drugs. Wow. We want to change every age to realize that they have a choice as to how they invest or spend or waste. Yeah their whole lives. And I know that you speak to groups all around the country. I do. And I suspect people can go to the website and figure out how to book you as a speaker Absolutely. if they want to. Absolutely. Everything to, to contact me is on there. And the new book, I'm sure, is on there as well, <laughs> which of course is called I Want What She's Got, Secrets of Creating an Outrageous Life at Any Age and Any Stage. Betty James Logren, thank you for being here That's today. It. Thank you so much, Jeff.